Do you love wine but often wonder what the term reserve or reserva actually means? Sure, we probably know to associate it with a more premium bottle of wine, but what is the difference when comparing a non-reserve to a reserve wine, if anything? Generally speaking, if your bottle of wine is stamped with the term reserve or reserva, it's a more premium vino for one of a few reasons. It could be a bottle from a sample of a winemaker's best batch, intentionally reserved before selling it immediately. Basically, whilst they sell off their average bottles of wine to cheapskate members of the public. Alternatively, or in addition, it could be a wine that's been aged for a longer period of time compared to its non-reserve counterpart. Or a wine produced from a more premium vineyard, or where a winemaker's best barrels have been used to make it. Based on this, you'll likely find a reserver has better ageing potential, much like myself. So to answer your question, what is a reserver? It's not a set criteria. It's basically a wine that's higher quality than usual for one or more of the reasons mentioned. However, Italy and Spain take this matter a lot more seriously. These two countries do have regulations winemakers must adhere to in order to class a wine as a reserver. For example, it needs to be aged for a certain number of years or aged in certain barrel types for a fixed number of months to gain the classification. Now, this does, however, open the term reserver up for abuse in non-regulated countries, for example, what's stopping someone calling their wine a reserver. However, generally winemakers respect this classification and only use it for their higher quality wines. Bottoms up. Now, did you like this video? Why not check out my other mini documentaries exploring why the fish on the fresh fish counter in your local supermarket may not be as fresh as you think, plus my other mini documentary exploring why we're so much more overweight than back in the 1950s.